Hey y'all, what's up? Alright, so this is uh, going to be uh, saving money lessons with Chris. A um, little bit interesting, a little bit new, and I just feel like doing something different. Um, that said, I've been looking around and um, one of the things I've noticed with this economy is like I, already like my business has actually started to, to drop and uh, I, you know, I, obviously a lot of other businesses and I don't think that my business is any sort of gauge of the overall economy, but I somehow sort of feel like it does sort of relate anyway though because I'm noticing that I'm looking at my own expenses lately and I just waste so much fucking money on so many dumb things that I just uh, you know I look around here and for instance I'm in my kitchen right now and I bought these avocados right these things are supposed to be good for you I actually do eat them uh, occasionally but both of these are bad like they, they've gone bad and I only bought them like a week a week ago or something like that in that week I think my sons ordered DoorDash at least three or four times. I've also gone out to dinner several times. And um, yeah, so basically while I'm doing that, my food at the house is like spoiling. And then like I look around and it's like, well, I have a bottle of water. Why do I have this bottle of water? I bought it at Starbucks when I bought a $4 coffee that I didn't need that I could have just made from my own home and then bought a bottle of water for like three dollars that i didn't need either which also contributes to waste and and uh, ruining the environment and all that so it just doesn't make any sense like i have a fridge here that does have filtered water i could just simply use that if i wanted to so even though i'm not actually like hurting for money i actually make probably more than most people um I realize though there's so much money just being thrown out the window. I, I read this article the other day. If you just save like three dollars a day on coffee and you invest that over four, uh, 40 years, you could have like a million dollars at a 12, I think it's almost 13 percent rate of return, which is really you know inaccurate, especially with this you know fucked up economy that seems like it's happening. The, it's like the third time since I've been an adult that. We're up against a pretty pretty big recession, I would say. So yeah, in addition to like the avocados that I'm throwing out, like I threw away a bag of potatoes, a whole thing of bread that I never opened. I have two things of milk in there that like if I don't drink pretty soon, it's gonna go bad and I don't drink milk all that often. So there's all these little things that are like stacking up and I'm like, you know what? I'm making some bad financial decisions and I want to change that. And then there's other things that I can do around the house as well. It's like, okay, you could buy bottled tea. My son likes to drink tea a lot. So like I'll get him like Lenten tea or something that you pay. And again, it contributes to the environment. Or you could just simply boil it yourself and use tea bags that will save you a bunch of money. And it has much less artificial sweetener. And you can adjust the sweetness level to, to your own taste and all that. And, um, yeah, the point being, I'm going to start making dinner from home a lot more because it's me and my two kids here. And I don't eat, I don't make dinner enough uh, as we get older. In fact, my, my son makes dinner, I would say, more often than I do lately. But I'm trying to change that. So another thing I noticed, too, is like if I'm not making dinners, then, you know, my son will make like tacos at like 1030 at night sometimes. So those are little things that I'm like, well damn that's like six dollars for ground beef or maybe seven or eight or whatever that might be four dollars for the taco shells you got the cheese and whatever else you might want to put on it and um that's better than going to taco bell or or, or getting carry out somewhere or something like that but uh the fact of the matter is is like there's so many little things that we can do that would be healthier for us including even starting with just drinking more water yeah, so that's basically my life lesson here. I have an entire kitchen and everything that I just don't use enough. And I have a house that I spend a lot of money on every month. And you wonder like how you can make a lot of money and then still not have as much as you would expect. And I think that's part of the reason. But yeah, let's go ahead and this is making making tea with her.
and we're done. If you're learning to code, I recommend you check out my website, CodeHawk.com. My courses are fast to the point without the fluff that you'll find on other competitor sites like Pluralsight and Udemy. One of the reasons why you'll want to learn with me is that I'm a self-taught engineer myself. I never went to school for any of this stuff. I've been doing it for over a decade now professionally. The biggest reason you should use CodeHawk is that it's one price for everything. I try to make this as affordable as possible. Instead of having to purchase 15 to 20 different courses on Udemy or an expensive monthly subscription to Pluralsight, it's one price for everything on CodeHawk. Front end, back end, full stack. It has courses on all the latest web development technology. The courses range from beginner to advanced. So if you want to learn the latest web technology, give CodeHawk a look. There's demos for all of the courses that are out there right now. Uh, in addition, there's also my personal vlogs, which I'll be adding more to. So content that I don't release to YouTube is available on CodeHawk.